Hi everyone, I'm Joanne with Newegg TV and I'm here to unbox this Logitech Z623 2.1 speaker system. Here's everything that comes in the box, the subwoofer, the two satellite speakers, and let's start off with the documentation. So here, of course, you get a quick start guide, always handy to have. Let me just quickly open this up, showing you where and how to plug everything in. And next up is this important information about your safety uh, instructions as well as warranty. You get a two-year warranty. The system is also THX certified. Let's start off with the cables, shall we? So first up is this green-headed cable. This measures about um, a little over six feet, and this is your auxiliary cable. You'll use this to plug the system, either plug in a smartphone or plug this into your PC, plug it into a console. I'll go over that a little bit more in just a bit. Moving right along, this is the left speaker, a little less ornate than the right one. This one comes with this cable that plugs into the subwoofer. This cable measures close to six and a half feet and comes with a standard RCA connector or phono plug. And the right speaker, comes with a much thicker cable. Generally don't see this on uh, you know, um, satellites, but I've also haven't seen such a huge satellite, uh, no, I'm sorry, subwoofer, in addition to two satellites. So this cable comes with a 15 pin D sub connector, also something I don't see coming from a satellite. And this cable measures about six feet. Now, I'm just going to place these side by side again and go over the satellite speakers first. So you'll notice that both of these come with this kind of matte black finish angled towards um, upwards. And on the left speaker, there isn't too much going on, but you do get this 2.5 inch dome driver with aluminum phase plug. You get the same thing on the right speaker. And they both come with this mesh grill here up at the front. You also get this TH THX logo as well on both of them. Let me see, not too much going on here except for some rubber feet, some shiny rubber feet currently covered with some dust, sorry about that. But this is to keep this unit in place while on a flat surface, and possibly your desk or shelving or wherever you decide to keep this. Now on to the right speaker. Let's turn it on to the side first. You get a headphone jack as well as an auxiliary in for plugging in using this cable, plugging in a smart device like a smartphone or whatnot. And up at the front, large power button, as well as this volume dial and bass adjust dial. And you have this notch at the center point here. And let me just turn this down, upside down. You also get some rubberized strips as well. Now I want to move on to measurements first. So let's go over the satellite speakers since they are right here. They measure 7.8 inches tall, about 5.4 inches along this edge and 5.6 inches this way. Now moving these aside. We have the huge subwoofer, awesome. Should give you some pretty awesome bass levels and just boom. So this thing measures about 11 and 3 quarters inches long and 11 inches tall and on the short side, 9 and a quarter inches. This comes with a 7 inch pressure driver right here, also with this mesh grill cover. And on this side is your base part right here. And on this side, all of the connections. So over here are your stereo RCA inputs. This is where you can plug in DVD players, PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, Wii, and those consoles should come with their own AV cable. So, I mean, this box doesn't come with it, so you should have it. And below that is the audio connector. This is where you use the same audio plug to plug this unit into your PC. Below that is the D sub connector for the right speaker, the port for the left speaker, and power cable. Comes with a handy cover too. Awesome. This cable measures, uh, let me see, about six and a half feet. Now on the bottom of the subwoofer, one moment. 
you get four of these rubberized round feet. So when you place this under your desk, it'll stay firmly in place. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around. I wanna go over some technical specs for both the subwoofer and the side satellite speaker. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move them right back here. Let's start off with the satellites. So you get 35 watts RMS for each satellite at six ohms each, and the subwoofer gets 130 watts RMS with a total RMS of 200 watts. And you get a frequency response of 35 hertz to 20,000 hertz and sound pressure level of greater than 103 decibels. We've gone ahead and tested the speakers using the True RTA software, and these are the results. Before I interpret them, I would like to mention that these speakers were not tested in a soundproof environment. It's a natural office setting, so the results are not completely accurate. And also, for a perfect speaker test, it should be a perfect straight line. However, that is impossible to achieve, so let's go ahead and see what these results have to say. So I want to mention first that the speaker range is 35 hertz to 20,000 hertz. So let's start off here at the low end. We're just going to kind of dismiss this area because this is between 20 and 30, 000, uh, 30 hertz. So we're gonna start off right here at 35 hertz. You'll notice that it is still a bit quieter than it should be with the dip here, but it starts to kind of normalize as, as it goes along. And you see that m most of this um, most of this result is following a relatively straight line with a few spikes here and dips there. And here between about, I believe, 4,500 um, um, and 8,000 hertz, you notice a very, well, pretty smooth line here following a straight line. And, and over here at the very end, near the about, I believe, 18,000 or so, you get some spikes, which means it is performing louder than it should. But these are the general results. And overall, I'd say they performed rather well. That wraps up this unboxing on this Logitech Z623 2.1 speaker system. I'm Joanne, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our new Egg YouTube channel as well as our other YouTube channels. Thanks for watching New Egg TV, and we'll see you next time.